Welcome everyone to Manor Lords. I've been waiting two years for this game to come out and now it's finally here and it is delivering. I mean this was my most hyped game for 2023. It got delayed slightly and then it ended up being my most anticipated game of 2024 as well. I want to pick this guy because he looks like he'll defend himself a little bit better. We will be Tortuga. And this is really good. It's just as good as the Stellaris in terms of depth, I think. Fun to play around with, but let's just jump right into things. The first scenario here, I believe, is the demo. Um, it, no bad guys, no bandits, no raiders. We'll play the uh, default one, which does have bandits and raiders, and combat. Okay, so here we go. Now my goal for this series is actually to go very quickly. I want to, you know, be very economic with my timing. Let's see, we have... Okay, um, this is doable. What's our... Uh, yeah. Build up your town, your manor, press your claims. Uh, we probably won't be doing much of that, especially in the first video. We just want to get our town up and running. First thing for us is a logging cabin. This is of the utmost important importance. But actually, before I even do that, let's take a look at the Ember Fertility. It's not great, but this actually gives me my grid. I like to build according to the underlying world grid, which you could... Oh, actually, we do have some. Ah, that is good to know. In fact, that'll probably in influence my decision to build a logging cabin over here. We'll just clear out space for that uh, farm a little bit more quickly. Now, we don't have to worry about cutting down all the trees over here. We can do it if we want. We don't want to cut down the trees around the wild animals, and the berries will also be good for early game food. So, at this point, I actually want to start immediately just going up to 3 speed, and do not slow down, just push, push, push. I think it's very important to just make a lot of progress. Uh, I think the game actually works a lot better at faster paces, it really does. So let's put this all the way down. I, I This game benefits also from being a little freeform, not being perfectly gridded. That's that's very difficult for me to do. I'll do it to a degree, but you know, not, not perfectly. Um, I also want to rotate this way and probably build a little area off this way, which we can use to build our hunting camp. And our forger hut as well. I don't want to uproot trees when I'm doing it, so I'm just taking a look and seeing how many trees I will uproot. And then I place it when I'm not uprooting any. Perfect. Okay, that's a lot of stuff for our construction people to get started with. As soon as this one's done, we actually want to put somebody on logging camp right away, because we have a few timbers, but not enough. Let's get more. Always more. And again, we can, oh, not two, we'll put one for now. They're going to start off by uh, cutting stuff down around here, but I want to actually assign them their area. I'm going to cut down stuff over in this area first, because I actually want all the trees around us to just be gone. Uh, another message. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor. So technically, this scenario pits you against Hildebolt von Baronut. We could write back, but I don't feel like this is very fleshed out, so we'll just close that and really just jump right back into building. So another thing we're going to want besides the logging camp is a, a way to gather firewood, which is also going to cut down trees. I think we could put that over this way. Like both of these are already done. Oh, that's very good. That's what happens when you have, you know, four people constructing. But let's go ahead and did I put them too close, by the way? Oh, this is the berries. Oh my gosh. I was like, Did we, are we too close to the animals? No, we're fine. We'll also, I mean, this should just be obvious, but we'll pick the berries here. And then we will also hunt animals. Let's just, let's just go down to 12. And we'll pick their work area as well. Okay, off we go. We'll want a granary. I think that'll be closer down here. Uh, I get, let's pause for a second and plan out our town, just to a degree. We have some food down here. We have uh, some industry up here. I think our town will be over here, but uh, again, we should be checking Ember Fertility. So, this is definitely going to be farm, farm zone. We have lots of rye fertility as well. 
Unfortunately, you do have to unlock Rai in the tech tree, but what I'm seeing is a very natural place for our farm will be up here, and so that means we don't have to worry about this. What about flax? Oh, it's it's very bad. Barley? Oh, it's very bad. Okay. So no no uh, immediate plans to get flax or barley. And you can probably tell by the way, I'm definitely under the weather, but I could not wait to record this because it's going to be my game of the year. I'm, I'm almost positive it will. Alright, let's get a granary, I guess closer down here. Let's do kind of like split the difference. And we'll do the same with the storehouse, just split the difference. This is going to be a key area. In fact, I probably should road all the way around these guys. You can make your roads more or less curvy. I will not make this area curvy. I mean, I, I've really forced myself to in this game because I think it is nicer. There we go. But that's going to be kind of like the, the center of supply delivery and all that. And the next thing we're going to want is to start getting our houses going. Yeah, well, they want lots of things, right? So we have three people working, one forager, one hunter. Um, and then honestly, we're going to want somebody to be in the granary and somebody to be in the storehouse. What we can do is maybe cut back on the wild animals. So the crown over it means it's a rich deposit. I think that means double. Like animals for a rich deposit is 40 instead of 20. I think it also means that you can mine it for longer if it's like a, a resource, like a stone or iron. Anyway, one of the big limitations for us is going to be the fact that we only have one ox. Also, just in the meantime, I'm going to build a road over here. We won't keep this road, either of those, but just so the hitching post is connected temporarily. There we go. We'll delete all those roads eventually. Alright, and we need to get rid of our homeless problem, but, you know, all in due time. I think we should build out this way for our housing. What I'm kind of thinking, we have the granary on this side too, which kind of supports this. So we'll put one person into that. And then what we're going to want is maybe one road, which does kind of follow the curvature of... The main road and now let's just make that a lot more curvy I like that so look I'm being a little bit inefficient but I, I want to be a little bit you know artistic I guess it doesn't come natural to me I'm not very good at it but I think this game deserves it and now we've set ourselves up well to build some really nice plots uh, if these are actual trees, I'm going to force our guys to cut them down. I guess what I can do is... Where did I put my... I don't think I put it yet, but we'll just build this road on the other side as well. And I'm going to build... Woodcutter's Lodge for firewood. I guess we can uproot a tree. We're gonna have to at some point. Inefficient, perhaps, but yeah, there it goes. Only have one person now constructing. Yeah. So how do we want to do this? I think that what we'll do is have housing down in this area, a market somewhere, somewhere here, and then we'll build around it in a circle. Uh, I guess what we should check first, much more important, is underground water. Perfect. We're saved by the fact that underwater, underground water does exist over here. Um, you can put your... I don't know if this is a bug or not, but you can put your underground uh, water, your well, inside of your marketplace. Doesn't seem to cause any problems. Oh yeah, we're already down to 12, so let's, um, let's free our hunting camp. We'll just have them finish whatever they're doing here. They're also getting hides for us, which is good. We can use that for clothing eventually. 
And it's really cool to just watch the people. There's so much character in this game. Which makes me, I mean, look at this guy. He's just carrying this, waiting. Conrad has to cut faster. So much personality, though. So much detail. I play it, you know, pretty far out. I don't zoom in very often, but you are rewarded once you do. Homeless people, yes, we definitely need to take care of that. That's a that's a, quite a problem. Okay, Woodcutter's Lodge is finished. Uh, we don't need to do anything with that quite yet, because we do have 12... Well, we don't have any houses yet, so there's no consumption of, of goods quite yet. I think it's time for us to start getting our, our plots here. Now that looks really, I mean this looks pretty good, but we're going to actually do this one better. We're going to decrease it and yeah, that's perfect. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Still planning to have our market somewhere over here. Did I? Okay, good. Yeah, well, I probably should put the water stuff down first. So that I don't forget. So that means our market is going to be right here. So you can put it through, but and this one is starting to fight me. There we go. 25, that's plenty. In fact, it's too many, even. 15 might not be enough. It's kind of janky. Just want the exact amount. Alright, well, I'll take the 20. Yeah, good enough. And we'll definitely put roads all the way around this one. No curvature in this case, I think that... That's what I want. Nice market area, we'll be deleting these roads soon. We'll also be removing this hitch post. We'll want this to be as well a, uh, a stables, but it'll take some time. So this logging camp, another thing I want built, now that we're starting to get these, which is good. We'll also want to get a gathering place where we can uh, make planks. Let's just put that right next to... There. Logging camp is kind of another one of those places that I like to have. With the, the road running around it a little bit. I gotta make sure we're speeding up time more often. And yeah, we have so many berries. We can have so many berries. 13 months. Well, we're gonna need firewood eventually, but let's just wait for it to get some more houses first. Constru okay, the well's constructed. We want these houses, though. That would be nice if we could work on those. And then probably starting here, even, we'll want... Oh, God, I made a mistake. Well, that's fine. This is not. Storehouse needs to collect the goods. So our supplies are getting soaked. We have 20, 10, 10. I hope that we don't lose any. But we won't lose any if we can just collect them in the storehouse. Since the granary has already collected all the stuff that they need, I'll go ahead and remove the person from the granary so we have somebody out doing construction. Really good weather effects in this game too. I mean, really good. And, like, honestly, the level of, of view, the game is so impressive. It, it really, it just continues to impress me. So now that we're getting our goods hauled to the storehouse, little by little, firewood stall was actually finished, which means that I guess we have... Technically, nobody's actually cutting more firewood, but I guess we have enough. Why would we even need a firewood stall? There's no, there's no houses. <laughs> we'll need it eventually, but we didn't really need it this quickly. It's quite a storm. 
Uh, it's definitely a big limitation having only one hitching post. We'll move this eventually and we'll also want to upgrade it to a stables. Probably move it down here so it's very central. I think it snapped to both of those roads which is perfect. Just need to build the house now. Now that the supplies are... Okay, they actually made a little tent of their stores. That's for the firewood. Okay, got it. PG Post has been moved. Very good. We'll want to upgrade this to a stables and then get a second ox eventually. But the most important thing right now is to finish building these houses. A hunting is basically done. Are they people doing anything in here? Guiding an ox, no. So let's dismiss them from that work so that they, we have more builders. Much better. Even the way the houses are constructed, it's just... It's perfect. Another thing we could do is we can... Uh, so when I made the living spaces, this is kind of important, I, get, I think. When you're making them, you can, uh, well, first of all, let me make this huge so we have lots of options. In theory, this is four, but you can actually decrease. And now that little side um, shed, once I, I do expand it, as we had the option to do with this, it will double the housing capacity. So it's effectively like two. Getting the tool sheds is also very important. In some ways, uh, it's actually more important to get single houses because you don't want two families stuck making like a blacksmith. So we'll also be considering that. Yeah, we could do this, which is perfect actually. So we'll have two which are going to double up and we will want to expand that. We don't have much timber though. So we'll be a little bit cautious about that. But it's time to get our homeless out. The faster our homeless go away, the faster we can get more people in. Uh, this is a mess of a road, so let's just remove all this. I think it's natural to connect these two, though. I'm not even sure we'll be able to fit a burger uh, in there. Burger. Burgage. <laughs> you know what I meant. Okay, cool. Or we could turn it. Yes. We'd actually get two houses if we turn it like this. Which I'd actually prefer. Uh, we'll do that. I hope that our lumber timber supply is... <laughs> well, it's, it's positive for now. If we have any problems with food, well, fuel is the main problem, so let's... Let's start cutting some, some wood for firewood. Okay, cool. So we increased our settlement. We have five, five houses is the first unlock. Next one, we need two level two burgages. I actually really like this orchardry. Uh, another good one to get first, I think, is the beekeeping for extra food. Charcoal could be good. I don't... Uh, it could be good, but the problem is it's quite a big... First of all, this is not the problem, but it, it's a, a very big building. It's the second building to make. And it means you have to go from firewood to charcoal. So yeah, it does increase the wood efficiency, but it's not really that much less work. So I think I'm going to go with orchardry. Ah, a new message has popped up. Let's see. Strong Militia. Okay, so now that we're at level 2 of, for a settlement, they want us to start thinking about getting military stuff. Just press 1, 2, 3. You can create a... We're not going to do this yet. Although they did deliver to us 20 spears and 20 shields to help us get along to bootstrap our, our, mil our militia. 
Yeah, we're not going to want that. In fact, now that we have this orchard, so another thing I could consider doing is maybe building some house like way over here. Like, let me do this. This is going to be a little bit strange, but let me um, have you guys work just in this area. Clear some trees out that I don't want there. And let's actually get somebody to work over there as well, because we do need some more fuel. And you can see that our logging camp is doing a great job. Cut down trees all over the place. That's why we have a continuous supply of timber, despite us being very aggressive about building it. Uh, now that the homeless is no longer a problem, all we need is to get over 50% here. And we have a chance of people moving in when it comes to June. Two more plots are being built presently. And we also can expand these. This is actually a little bit quicker than building a new plot. Come on, laddie. I want to do that, but only after we have finished the other construction. Very important to get one more finished so we have a place for somebody to move. Fuel is quite bad, but hopefully we can solve that problem very quickly. Okay, now I want to expand the space now that we have one extra for sure. You can see how important the oxen are. They really are the lifeblood of your little early community. And even your late community, they just move in timber all over the place. Getting dark. There's no night cycle. You can turn it on, but I don't have it on. So when it gets dark, we know that it's bad weather. Okay, we have plenty of housing now. Homelessness is a thing of the past. We have market food variety. As more people come and get food, then uh, we'll, we'll continue to get up. Looks like some bandits came and stole eight hide. That was all of our hide. Those dig dogs. Yeah, we don't have any hides left. Well, that's not great. Did they take anything else? Where are they? Oh, they're right next to us. Well, that's less than ideal. And their camp, I think, is too strong for us to take by ourselves. I'm not sure. I've never tried it, but I'm just guessing. We're already up to uh, four months of fuel now, so things are working out. Oh, they stole more? No, that's the same thing. Okay, good. There's our worker. We can always go over to the people tab, see how people are doing. They are very busy. We're over 50%, so I guess when July comes, we can expect some more people to join. We could be constructing something in the meantime, but we're pretty light on people. I guess what's the next thing we're going to want anyway? Well, we want to get as much of this. Uh, we want food. Food related things to are very important. We have so many berries too. I, th I think we'll just focus on berries. Yeah, we can't do that. That's right. So you need somebody either assigned to the hitching post or a free family who can move it. Which means we're going to need to leave one unassigned for now. But again, getting a second ox is a high priority in my opinion. But that means we're going to need to work the saw pit in order to get uh, planks. Well, it is July and I expect that we should get a, a new person. We're above 50% and we have open housing. Just a matter of time, I think. Are people are going to want access to a church? I say the church 
Doesn't need to be particularly close. Maybe down here somewhere. We don't have the goods for it, but it'll actually fit over here. Maybe that's where I'll put it. Uh, it might be a little too close to the marketplace. Maybe on the other side? Yeah, look at that. That's that's nice. I like that. We really are waiting for people to move in. We're kind of stuck. We're still gathering a lot of food. 22 months already. My goodness. That is quite a buried deposit. But also there's a, an importance on variety of food. Naturally. Our logging camp has done a good job of clearing out trees all around here now. I'm happy about that because I want to build some houses over in this area. Oh, good. New family's moved in. It's August. About time. Now we can really get things going. So we still have room for extra people, but now we can assign, where do we want them to go? Berries? There's just so many places. Let's do hunting, because that'll give us some hides back. Eventually we're going to need to do uh, clothing. Unfortunately we were just robbed of all our hides, so we have to accrue those once more. Another, they're stealing all of our food now. Oh, we only have berries. Well, there goes our market food variety. I do have an orchard and I have enough regional wealth for one. So we could just do that. I feel like it's starting to get pretty important for us to do something. That's going to be a big orchard. But yeah, the amount of produce that you get does depend on the size. So space is at a premium in this game, I find, even though it's kind of an open world. I mean, obviously it's an open world, but you have a lot of space to build. You have a big area. But making everything compact enough to be efficient, that's always the challenge. That is, that is enormous. <laughs> I made that extremely big. I should have made it a little bit wider so we could double family it, but that's okay. I could put another one down next to it, actually. So not big enough. Auto save happening there. Yeah, we won't have enough space for it. It'll have to be another one just like this. Once I get some wealth, which we're going to need the houses to go up to level 2 for, we can put a vegetable garden as well, just to so make sure we have a variety of food. Always a big variety. And there's some houses here which we can still expand the living space. That'll be good to do. Okay, this construction's finished. Once somebody moves in here, we'll make it an orchard plot. Actually, I think we can make it there that right away anyway. And next up for us, once we have planks, which we don't yet, Just speed up time a little bit. We're making good progress. Okay, we're starting to knock down the berry count a bit. <laughs> yeah, fuel is actually the more important thing. Okay, so now that we've knocked down uh, the trees that were in the way, did we though? <laughs> Maybe not totally. Yeah, they're still they're still getting from the wood over here.
Ah, another uh, Burgage plot has been developed. Very good. It is quite a distance for them to travel. Anyway, so far so good. Ah, oh, bandit camp. It is directly next to us. Oh, how great. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to know or hear about. Okay, clay down there, and stone is way over there. That's actually kind of annoying. It's going to be a long journey to get stone. Thankfully, we don't need it very much. But for a few buildings, including my own manor, we will want it. Still going off for this one. Plenty of approval though, so we are just waiting for the next month to come and get more families. There it is. Still have three more homes they can move into even. Did they move in here? They did not. Well, not much more to do in this episode, I think. We're off to a very good start. We've made it about half a year. Uh, very humble origins. This game is so good, though. I mean, I don't know how long this series will go for, but hopefully I've already demonstrated to you just how great the mechanics are for a game which is coming out supposedly as early access. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Well, and, you know, there are some mechanics which are not fleshed out well, like the, the military, the combat stuff. It's okay, but the actual combat looks a little janky. I still think that this game is a its a very easy game to recommend to anybody interested in colony or city builders, colonies, um, builders, anybody who played Banished and enjoyed it. This is like a, an absolute must-have. So for now, that's going to do it. Well, I'll probably putz on a few more episodes after this. Until those, I mean, if you wouldn't mind pressing the like button just to, you know, worship the YouTube algorithm and all that. The usual stuff. Um, otherwise, I won't ask again after the first episode, but until the next one, thanks for watching, and take care.